He was once the highest ranking elected official in St. Louis County, overseeing a government that serves about 1 million people. But in a matter of hours, Steve Stenger is expected to find out how long he'll serve in federal prison. I-team reporter Jacob Long has a preview of tomorrow's sentencing hearing for the former county executive. The general consensus among people who've been following this case is that Steve Stanger will be serving time behind bars. Under the federal sentencing guidelines, it looks like he could go away for about three to four years, but ultimately it is just going to be U.S. District Judge Catherine Perry who issues that life altering order. I was like watching a movie of this young, you know, former rising star politician walking in to to uh, to get his fate. If anyone can relate to how Steve Stanger might be feeling on the eve of his sentencing hearing, it's Jeff Smith. When I went in, I had about 9,000 numbers in my contacts on my cell phone. About 8,000 of those people I didn't hear from again. Smith is a former Missouri state senator and now author of his own life story, who served a year and a day in federal prison after being convicted on two counts of conspiracy to obstruct justice. So he knows firsthand how Stanger's life will change forever after he learns his fate on Friday. The key is to always remember that people have it worse than you and you made mistakes and uh, you need to appreciate the, the seriousness of what you did. Mr. Stanger, anything you want people to know? Stanger pled guilty back in May to multiple federal corruption charges, all tied to a pay to play scheme at the highest levels of St. Louis County government. Prosecutors say Stanger used his elected position to enrich himself and in return, he awarded lucrative government contracts to political donors. Smith says it'll be important for Stanger on Friday to show the judge he is remorseful. I think what anybody does and, and what he's doing um, tomorrow in his statement is trying to show that what happened uh, was was not the totality of his character. But no matter what happens, Smith says Stanger should not dwell on the illegal decisions that took him from county executive to convicted felon. My biggest piece of advice is this is not the end of your life. Um, in America, I don't think many people get third chances, but most people get second chances. Now, Stanger's attorneys say that he is a first time nonviolent offender with a wife who's close to having a baby, and that's why they're hoping he is sentenced to three years or less. Prosecutors, though, say that this was not a victimless crime, and they say his actions deserve significant prison time. For the I team, Jacob Long, five on your side. Stanger's hearing is set for 1.30 tomorrow afternoon. We'll be in the courtroom and we will bring you all of the latest developments tomorrow on air and online.